All right, what's going on guys? Today we're gonna talk about how to become a barber and the steps you need to take to get that license. I specifically have been licensed in two states, North Carolina and Ohio. So I'm gonna talk about those processes for those states and a little bit about a few other states that I know a little bit about. So on your journey to become a barber, the first thing you wanna do is ensure that you, you know, enjoy cutting hair and it's something that you wanna do. So before you even call the school, you should pick up a pair of clippers and you know, cut a, cut a few heads and see if you like it. See if it's something you wanna do, hang around in the barber shop, get comfortable, see if that's a career that you wanna uh, invest in and, and you know, be doing for a while. Then after that, once you realize like, yo, this is what I wanna do, you should give barber schools in your area a call. Now, picking your barber school is extremely important to me because <clears throat> I work with some guys and they told me some, some horror stories about, you know, the stuff that they seen and, and were doing in barber school. Fortunately for myself, I went to a pretty good, for the most part, a pretty good barber school. Um, I had some really good instructors and I learned a lot. So it wasn't just like time wasted to me. I learned a lot and um, it gave me a great foundation, even though I had already been cutting it and I had already been to cosmetology school. So after you notice, you know, a school in your area that will work for you, because you should find a school where you can get the max amount of hours in a day, in a week, in a month, and that affects your schedule. You may have to take classes in the evening after work, in the morning, before work, whatever you gotta do to get those licenses. So find a school that works for you, you know. Give a few schools a call. Matter of fact, just call all of them. Call all of them in your area and see what they offer, see what the cost difference is, and see what works for you. <clears throat> all right, now in North Carolina, you are required to get 1,528 hours before you can go take the state exam. Now, at that state exam, you have to do a written test which consists of, uh, I think it's about 120 questions. And you have to get a 70, I wanna say it's a 70. You gotta get a 70, at least a 70 on that test. And you do a practical as well, and you gotta get a 70 as well. Now on that practical, what you're doing is a traditional business, businessman taper. You know, they're not looking for no skin fades, um, they're not looking for no crisp lineups. That's not what they want to see. It's really a, a pretty simple haircut that they want to see. And they want to ensure that you know how to do a proper 16 step shave safely. So they want to know that you know those movements and what to do if you cut your client during that shave as well. Um, now after you go take that exam, probably about a week later you'll get a letter letting you know if you pass or fail. If you pass, then you become a apprentice barber in the state of North Carolina. What that means is you can then work in a barber shop under a registered barber. You have to work in that barber shop under a registered barber for at least a year. And then you go back, <clears throat> you go back and take another state exam, which is the exact same exam. You don't have to take the written portion, just the practical. Just want to ensure that you still know how to do that businessman taper haircut and that 16 step shave safely. Now the difference between an apprentice license and a registered license in North Carolina is as a registered barber, you are legally allowed to cut in that barbershop by yourself. You don't need anybody there, anyone else there, and you can manage a shop as well. As an apprentice, you can't do either one of those things. As an apprentice, you can't do either one of those things. So coming to work early or staying late legally, you are not allowed to do that unless a registered barber is there. So my advice to you, if you're in North Carolina trying to get your license is go take that apprentice exam. Once you pass, do your year. And as soon as you can, go get your registered license so you can just get it out the way. You don't gotta wait on nobody or depend on nobody. You can move and cut how you want to. Um, <clears throat> also, if you're in North Carolina, in the Rayford, Fayetteville, Hope Mills area, give my guy, Mr. Sweeney, a call over at One Stop Academy. That was one of the great instructors that I had while I was in barber school. Shout out to him. Um, and that's it for North Carolina. Once you, you know, once you knock those steps out, 
I said, you know, you get your license and, and this barbering game will probably change your life. Now for the state of Ohio, it's a little different and a little bit harder. State of Ohio, you have to get 1,800 hours before you can take your state exam. Once you complete those hours, you can go take your state exam and that exam consists of a written, a written exam and a practical as well. Now the written, I think it also has about 120 questions and I think you gotta get a 70 or a 75 to pass as well. Um, the practical portion, it's a little bit harder. You still gotta do that same businessman taper haircut. Like I said, they're not looking for no skin fades, crisp hairlines, that's not what they want. They wanna make, make sure that you know how to do a classic traditional businessman taper haircut. However, when you do that haircut in Ohio, you can't use any guards. So you're doing that haircut all clipper over comb or using your shears or whatever you gotta do to get that look that they want. So you gotta do that haircut. Um, you gotta do a shampoo. You gotta know how to properly do a sh shampoo and do those scalp manipulations. You gotta do a facial. You gotta know all the facial movements. And you also have to do a shave. You still gotta do that 16 step shave and um, do it safely. And lastly, on that practical exam as well, you have to know how to hone and strop a razor, a traditional razor. Um, Cause in the state of Ohio, you legally can't use a traditional razor. In the state of North Carolina, you cannot. Um, now once you pass that exam, you're good. You're a registered licensed barber. You don't have to go back, take another test. You're good. As long as you pay your fee, keep it up to date, you're good to go. You can get to cut anywhere you want. Now there is another way you can get your license, which I almost did this way as well, but it is not in um, every state. So like in the state of North Carolina, I mean, I'm sorry, in the state of New York, you can apprentice to get your license. So you can skip school in all and just apprentice under what they call a master barber there. You can apprentice under a master barber, I think you have to do it for like two years. And then you go take your state exam and you become a master barber. So if you're in a state like New York, I wanna say Georgia does it as well. I think DC area does it as well. You can apprentice and skip school in total to get your license. So wherever you at, you know, Give your state board, your barber state board, wherever you're at, a call just to ensure um, that these same things apply to you. But the process really is pretty simple, man. Just give a, give, a, give a school in your area or give the state board a call and just see what it is that you gotta do to get those licenses. And like I said, barbering will probably change your life. For me, it has changed my life tremendously. And um, I'm extremely <laughs> thankful and grateful for everybody that I met doing this and, and what this has done for me. You know, I left the, the Marine Corps to do this specifically. And it's really one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. So that's it. That's all you gotta do, man, to get your license. It's really pretty easy, man. So if you got any questions, leave them below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, and share this with somebody if you think it may help them. Also, let me know what y'all want to see up next on the channel. Peace.